Welcome to Jumper Man Tech. And today we're going to be upgrading this old thermostat to this new digital one. Working on a fan coil unit. Let's give these guys an upgrade. Yeah. Rule of thumb before any service call, give a sip of coffee. On, fan is set to high, thermostat set to the warmest point. We are blowing warm air. We have 130 degrees. I'm going to turn this thing on off and let's see if the temperature comes down and make sure that water valve closes before we start changing thermostats. Alright, so we just adjusted the temperature. Let's see if this valve closed. So we're reading at 130 degrees prior. Let's see if we come down. When we opened this cover, I found the actuator just hanging there, so they just have it had it bypassed so the valve is the this, water's always this, running uh, no so I got my meter between the two uh, terminals no it's uh no we're in heat mode I have it set to cooling and we have no voltage so that's good I'm gonna so, set it over the actuator is disconnected it's hanging heat. out hanging in the ceiling there very difficult see to see if get we get control. voltage alright we have 120 volts so we are getting power you know, it's, it's this, this thing is not doing nothing. I have a bad actuator here, so that's why they bypassed it. Here is a small gear, so when you know you're receiving voltage, and when you're not receiving voltage, you want to see, you want to watch for those gears to move. If you're getting the supplied voltage from the thermostat, and those gears are not moving. Most likely, got a bad actuator. This thing is already heating up. So this is a pop-out actuator. Just pull these. This can pop right off the valve. So this thing needs to be replaced. Let's see, this is a 120 volt valve. Two position. I just want to see if it's normally open or closed. Right here, normally closed. So we need a normally closed 120 volt actuator. Might have one in the truck actually. holding this That's how that light turns on. <laughs> okay. No diagram or nothing, no color reference. We could look right here, high, medium, low. So high is up here, that will be our orange wire. Medium, there's four wires here, so one is power. Alright, well. Gotta take a look at the wiring, match it up within the unit, and we'll figure this out. Alright, so I opened up the panel. This is our BX coming in. So this is our thermostat right here. So we're gonna trace all this out and see who's who. This place looks like a mess. Disconnected wires everywhere. Valve was not even connected. What is this? <laughs> Alright, it's definitely uh, some work that needs to be done here prior to getting this thing started. But 
That's why they called me. Just take care of it. Fixed out most of the wiring. I know my fan speeds and uh, who's power and whatnot. So let's see. Let's hook up what we can for now. And all I gotta figure out is the heating and cooling. So, wrote myself down a little list, made some notes, and uh, let's swap this thing out and get this thing to work right. I like to cut them off like this, so if you ever need to look back for reference, you can see there's a little strand of yellow in this blue, so this blue, you know when today's yellow. Just a little something. I looked back up there that the neutral wasn't going to the old thermostat. That's this white wire here. So white is gonna go with our neutral. Black wire was our hot. Blue is medium speed, red is low speed, purple is high speed. So let's go get this wired. Brown on the thermostat. This high speed and purple from the wiring is our high speed. Alright, so we got power to the thermostat and we have our three speeds connected. So who's missing? Our this yellow and orange, which is our heating and cooling. And uh, it's going to be controlled by some pipe sensors. So we're going to have to figure that out. There's four wires here, and there's two wires left to be connected. So someone is not going to be energized. So let's figure that out. Traced out and wired. Got everything hooked up for testing purposes. First things first. Let's set it to heat. Check the fans. So here's low speed, fan turned on, medium speed, we got a change, and high speed. Alright, we're set to heat, but our set point is below the room temperature. So let's see, shouldn't be calling. I want to check between these two. Nothing. Let's set this thing to heat. Let's see if uh, that valve energizes. So I'm going to raise the room temperature above, uh, set, set the set temperature above the room temperature. Got a blink heat on. So we should have 120 volts. Between those two wires, this is what feeds that actuator. 120. Beautiful. Valve operates. That's a beautiful thing. That's great. And by the way, this looks so much better <laughs> than this thing. These old controls. Great. Time to close everything up. We got a new thermostat. Say goodbye to the old one. And that was that. If anybody found this video helpful or interesting, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.